Uh, I saw a photo of you today, a picture of you from 1975 when you made uh, a double cut guitar based yeah. in Gibson. Yeah. And it wasn't a Gibson, it was a PRS. Yeah, it was, but it was actually some kind of based. It had a Les Paul Jr. body shape, but it was carved. Right. That's right. And uh, when you made this guitar uh, at the times, were you thinking uh, that probably in uh, 30, 35 years uh, in the future and that you would make uh, create guitars for such stars like Carlos Santana? In my wildest dreams, in the, in the most hopeful of moments, maybe. I was trying to learn an art. I mean, the first thing you do if you're in a band is you learn a few people, other other people's songs, and then eventually you write your own songs, right? So I, I didn't, at that time, I was just learning the guitar making craft. I was learning how to become a luthier, right? And then slowly started to develop the own thing, our own thing. I, I didn't know what this was going to turn into. I didn't know what it was going to feel like to get up in the morning and feel my back feel like the beginnings of an old man. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think my hair would fall out and turn white. I didn't think that all these rock stars would be on the phone with me on a daily basis. I didn't know. I mean, yesterday when we left, uh, we were on the phone with Neil Sean. We were on the phone with um, uh, Martin Simpson was with us yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's considered the best acoustic guitar player in England. Um, Bernie Marston, who did all the White Snake songs, we had dinner with him last night. I didn't think this was going to be a daily event. I had no idea. But they need tools to do their job, and we build tools for them to do their job. So it's a natural symbiotic relationship. One feeds on the other. Okay, and nowadays when you wake up, 35 years later, and you uh, you wake up in the morning, and you, uh, what's your uh, thoughts? I'm a craftsman, or perhaps I'm an artist? I don't, artistic I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't use those words, but you're close. I think of myself as a businessman, a leader, and a, and a guitar maker. And I wonder about how I will lead that day. I wonder about how we'll make guitars that day. I'll wonder about how I can help the company be healthy. I wonder about how to make sure that the employees are healthy in the company that's to be healthy, uh, how to do sales, how to um, talk to the world like we're doing now about what we're doing. You know, without the media, we would have no chance. Without people like you and doing these interviews, we wouldn't have a chance to spread our... Um, I feel appreciated. Our, our <laughs> word. I mean, really, you're a journalist, basically, right? So your job is to look at the past report on the moment, and hopefully predict the future. You're soothsayers in a way. It's a very <laughs> interesting job that you have, right? It's a very interesting job. And our job is to give you material to report on, right? But I, I see myself as a, 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 a leader and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a businessman and a guitar maker. But when I write, when I come overseas, when they said, what's your occupation that was on my boarding card when I came into England, it said guitar maker. I think yours said manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Because she's, she's the sales manager for private stock, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, OK, um, you know, business, um, music business develops. And uh, PRS guitars develop as well. Mm -hmm. uh, new Floyd Rose idea. For example, some single uh, pickups, uh, acoustic guitars. Mm. Uh, is that all your ideas, or perhaps you uh, mm, consider some suggestions? Nothing's all my idea. The acoustic guitar was invented by a guy named Antonio Torres, and we x-rayed one of his guitars to figure out how to make a guitar. There are many ideas I bring to the table. There are many ideas that Steve Fisher, the acoustic guitar maker, Doug Sewell, the amp builder, Paul Miles and Tina bring to the table. Um, Paul Miles is in charge of private stock. Jack Higginbotham, our president, has ideas. Um, there are sales meetings going across the hall. Believe me, I will listen to tons of ideas at dinner tonight. Um, I listen a lot. 
what I'm kind of famous for is listening and listening and listening and listening and listening and then making my mind up. So I'll listen for a long time, but once I made my mind up, it's kind of hard to change unless somebody presents a truth that changes the truth. If the truth, the truth is the most powerful thing, right? So, you know, uh, we've been having a conversation for the last four months about um, developing new kinds of private stock guitars and some of those guitars came off the line the day we left mm -hmm. and boy they were beautiful it's really a good time for our company if somebody's thinking about buying a private stock this is time now mm -hmm. it's really good time just gorgeous guitar Tina yes what kind of food is that what kind of food is that what can you say about it this right here is a piece of curly maple we get east coast and west coast curly that's from the united states the east coast of there's different species in america oh, yeah. you also have european maple and this one here is a piece of quilted maple and i'll spray the top this is part of the process when someone comes in to select their wood they'll they'll select a piece that they like and because you can somewhat see the figure but once you spray the top you really get to see, I hope I don't squirt you, but you really get to see what type of figure is going to come out. Oh, beautiful. And then, and it almost looks like, you know, a wave pool. And then someone will come in if they decide they want a single cut, and they'll, you know, figure out where they want their figure, and this is kind of part of that process. But this is a piece of quilted maple, which only comes from the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And then, the like United I said, States. yes, and then the the curly maple and then I'm not this comes from both coasts but this yeah. particular piece of wood came from the east coast of the United States and I'm not sure Paul maybe you know which type of tree yeah, this is red maple this is big leaf maple and the European maple is called European maple they all have different Latin names but they're they're kissing cousins as we call it <laughs> yes the quilted maple somewhat resembles like a lot of people say it looks like water like a lot of times if we put blue on it or different colors on it, it can resemble different things to them but it, it's very like I said quilty and very like a lot of dimensions to it same with the curly um, there's a sound difference correct Paul whether it's yeah, a but, curly maple but, top but or that's starting to go away. Okay. We have learned enough about wood drying recently that the sound difference between the different species is going away, which is just wonderful for me. Yep. It's Somebody, all about drying the it's, wood. It's all about getting the resins crystallized. Can you imagine if the wood is full of oil that has not hardened, that it would not sound as good than if the oil had hardened into crystals? Can you imagine if the wood was really wet, that it would sound worse than it was really dry? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Uh, okay, uh, we we're speaking about uh, we we're talking about um, ecological uh, um, issues. Uh, well, I guess that many of exotic uh, kinds of wood uh, are harder and harder to be purchased, right? Yes, we have a couple pieces of wood in the factory now. I didn't bring them because of their rarity, and I didn't. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough for everyone. But we do have a couple of. Uh, we have a species called bees wing sepo. Uh, we've gotten some back backwoods in of that. That has a beautiful, just a really weird, different figure that you don't see all the time. Uh, we do get that, and like Paul said, we'll get like a, a chunk of stuff. And once we realize that the public likes it and the customers are into it and the dealers are ordering it, then we'll go and try to find a bigger supply of it if we can. We also have some stuff called um, macaray, which. Like I said, it's just weird different figures that you don't get out of the regular typical mahoganies and the carinas and stuff like that. So they're always finding some really neat stuff back at the factory.